Now in part b we've got to find the mass m of p and how are we going to do that? Well we have to do it by the conservation of linear momentum and hopefully you're familiar with that that is that the momentum before impact is equal to the total momentum after impact providing there's no external forces acting on the system and there's not okay we've just got these internal forces here so let's start then by using the conservation of linear momentum so I'll just write a little intro up here conservation of linear momentum okay so just guides the examiner to what we're doing hopefully anyway okay so we look at the momentum before now we're dealing again with vector quantities so make sure that you take a positive sense it really doesn't matter which way you go with it but uh, make sure you stick to it so I'm just going to go to the right as the positive sense so we've got the momentum before, the total momentum before impact. So if we start with P, we've got the mass m multiplied by its speed, or I should say velocity, and uh, speed is 15 meters per second, but it's acting towards the right, so that's going to be plus 15. And then we add to this the momentum of Q before impact, so that's going to be the mass, 3,000, multiplied by its velocity well it's got a speed of zero so it doesn't matter what direction we go there and this equals the total momentum after impact and you've got to be very careful now because you've got the mass of p that's m but multiplied by the velocity after impact its speed is three meters per second but it acts in the opposite sense to this direction here plus so it's going to be a velocity then of minus three we add to this the momentum of q after impact so it's the mass 3000 and that is multiplied by the velocity and it's nine meters per second to the right in the positive sense that's going to be multiplied by nine okay so very easy then all we've got to do then is just simplify this side you've got 15m plus 0 so that's 15m and here you've got minus 3m and if you do 3000 times 9 that is 27,000 and so adding 3m to both sides gives us 18m equals 27,000 and then if we divide both sides by 18 you end up with 18 equals 27,000 then divided by 18 and what you end up with is exactly 1,500 so m equals 1,500 okay so I hope that's given you some idea then how you can go about this particular part of the question well that brings us now in fact to the end of the whole question all right